Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the Red Rust Scimitar, which is a very fun weapon. I enjoyed this thing a lot. As you can see from the video already, it's a fantastic weapon for chasing people down, and it happened quite a few times throughout the video. So it made for some pretty drawn out fights, but I had a great time using this thing. So anyway, getting started with the weapon itself, the Red Rust Scimitar requires 18 strength and 15 dexterity in order to wield. It has a C scaling in strength and an E in dexterity. So yes, this is a strength scaling scimitar, and I dare you to say that five times fast. I'm amazed that I was able to say it without messing up that time. So there's that. The physical base damage of the weapon is 240. The attack rating is 385 with a ring of blades plus two, so that's a 335 without it. The counter strength of the weapon is 100, poise damage is 25 per hit, and it weighs a total of 6 units. So this actually is the heaviest of the curved sword weapon class, and it also is the most damaging curved sword as well. So that is pretty cool, and it's actually a fantastic weapon for strength builds. As I've said before, it is a strength scaling scimitar, and hey, I did it again, yay. So because of that, it makes for a weapon that adds diversity to strength builds. Now, to further explain what I mean, think of strength weapons, just think of them. What do you think of? A large club, a battle axe, a great hammer of some kind, a great axe of some kind, an anvil on a stick maybe? Those are generally what you think of when you think of a strength weapon, right? Not a scimitar, not something light and fast that can combo very well and really pressure someone when they're low on health and is good at chasing people down. That's generally not what you think of when you think of a strength weapon. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm the only one who thinks like that, but if I am, then I, whatever, I've been told that I'm weird, so it is what it is, guys. Um, anyway, the biggest pro of the weapon would definitely be the fact that it is either one of three things, really. It would be the fact it's either the most damaging curved sword it would be the fact that it is fantastic at chasing people down, or it could be the fact that it adds so much diversity to the strength weapons that are in the game. So that's just a few things that are good about it. I'm not sure really which one I would consider to be the biggest pro. I mean, I would definitely lean towards the diversity in the moveset of strength weapons in general, because this adds so much to it. It's just so far from what I personally expect and from what the majority of people would expect as well. So there's that. Now the biggest con of the weapon, I honestly can't really give a good con for this weapon. The biggest con I could think of would be one of two things, and both of them are going out on a limb. It's the heaviest of the curved swords, weighing six units. A whole whopping six units, oh my, it might make me overburdened. <laughs> yeah, because that'll happen, right? Uh, that could be a thing. I mean, if you are using a heavy strength weapon like the anvil on a stick, then something like this that is small could really put you over, so that could be a problem. And yeah, I do understand that, but for the most, or for most cases, rather, it's not going to be an issue. So there's that. The other con of the weapon, which also is going even more out on a limb, would be the fact that you have to wait so late in the game to get the weapon. This weapon you would get after you kill the Duke's dear Freya, and after you kill Vangarl's body. So because of that, it's fairly late in the game, and then you have to go back to him after the fact and buy it from him. So, yeah, it's not a huge deal. It's not like it's gonna make me be like, oh, I don't want to spend all the time to go get that weapon. No, it's a fantastic weapon. It's totally worth doing. But it's not something you want to rush to from the beginning of the game. You might make it very difficult for yourself. Although it definitely is possible, so that's something to keep in mind. And definitely would give you a good advantage too in some PvP situations and even for PvE. It's a fantastic weapon all the way around, really. Now, other than that, this weapon is fairly straightforward. Its ability to combo is pretty good with those R2 attacks and I really do enjoy using them a lot, but I find myself using running attacks more than anything else because people like to roll away, to roll away and run away and be silly. So there's that. But as I've said a few times, it's overall a fantastic weapon. There really are no noticeable cons to it if you ask me, and I probably will be using this thing quite a lot. So that's something to look out for if you ever run into me, I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, that's really all I've got left to say. There's one fight left after this one, and since I do have nothing else to say, I'm just going to leave here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful in one way or another. Please like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and enjoy the rest of the video, guys. I'll see you next time.